Healthy Living in the Four Corners has been brought to you by San Juan Regional Medical Center. Thanks for watching Healthy Living. Do your children wear helmets when they ride their bikes, skateboard, or go skiing? If they don't, they really should. Just ask Dr. Sugar Singleton Marcy with the San Juan Health Partners Clinic in Aztec. She suffered a traumatic brain injury in a skiing accident just one week after purchasing her first ski helmet. And now she's on a crusade to ensure kids and their parents wear safety helmets when they participate in activities that are at risk for a concussion. You only have one brain. And so I really emphasize protecting that brain. And with parents, I talk to them and I say, you know, the earlier you can get your child in the habit of wearing a helmet, even if they're only two or three, yeah, I know they're only riding a tricycle and they're probably not gonna hurt their brain if they fall off of it. But if you get them in the habit of doing it young, then it's very likely that as they get older, you won't get as much kickback and rebellion from kids who don't wanna wear their helmet. But it's very important. According to the Center for Disease Control, more than a half a million kids wind up in the emergency room with concussions and traumatic brain injury because they weren't wearing a helmet. If you can imagine inside of the head um, that you have a brain that's kind of sitting in fluid and it's kind of just hanging out there in the fluid and whenever you have that dramatic injury, your brain is coming forward and then coming back. And so it's popping the front of your skull and then the back of your skull. And you can get contusions, which would be like a bruise, literally, of your brain. And that is really not healthy for the brain. What we're worried about is the, is the minor concussions and the minor head injuries. And we know that if you repeatedly injure your brain in those minor ways, that over time that can add up. Although you can argue that your brain still takes a hit when you're wearing a helmet, a helmet can buffer some of the damage. If you'll notice, this has a pretty thick protective layer of foam. And if you could imagine that this is just going to give your brain a little bit more time to hit the sidewalk. So it's going to slow down the impact and it does a really, really good job of protecting the, the damage to the brain. When purchasing a helmet, Dr. Singleton recommends you try the helmet on before buying. It should fit snugly and rest straight across the top of your head with about two fingers of width between your eyebrow and the top of the helmet. And make sure you can still see around you. More importantly, wear the correct helmet for the activity. You want to make sure that your child is wearing the correct helmet for the correct activity. If they're riding a scooter, if they're skiing, snowboarding, playing football, there's lots of different kinds of activities and lots of different kinds of helmets. And we want to make sure that they're using the correct helmet for the correct activity to get the best uh, protection for their brain. San Juan Regional Medical Center will be handing out 100 free bicycle safety helmets during the annual National Night Out sponsored by the Aztec Police Department. The event will be from 5 to 7 p.m. on Tuesday, July 18th at Aztec Minion Park. For more about traumatic brain injuries, visit the San Juan Regional Medical Center at sanjuanregional.com.